Okay, now we're good. <laughs> I go. I am fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Once again, thank you for joining the reinventing the tattoo Thursday morning fundamentals class with your host Kier Franklin. That is myself. If you're new here, pretty much what we do is we talk about uh, some sort of fundamental of art or tattooing, be it, uh, you know, value or spheres or cubes or anything like that. Or we talk about artists and uh, for a good like 10 to half hour. And then you guys are able to jump on. We can discuss about the topic that was discussed today. And hopefully you guys learned something cool. If you're having a tough time uh, hopping on, what you do is you go to reinventingthetattoo.com slash watch or slash events sorry and it should be a big google calendar and you can go right to today's date and it should have you hop on when i allow you know that sort of thing to happen like i said i like to give the first 10 to half hour uh, to talk about the topic we're talking about today and then we'll move into being able to hop on uh so with that being said let's uh just jump right into it i think uh we have our good friend kyle in the background who's going to help with all sorts of comments likes and shares if you have any questions at all he'll be able to see it and he'll let me know um i'm on my just my ipad today because i've been having internet issues with my laptop so i don't want any malfunctions to be happening so our good friend kyle is going to help out with that and with that said let's uh let's get right into it gang so Last week, or sorry, two weeks ago, we discussed about uh, roses and American traditional roses. So I want to keep that trend going because uh, I feel like this is a very fundamental uh, level of tattooing at this point. Profound in its days, but obviously fundamental now. It teaches you a whole bunch about composition and um, how to ratio all of your steps as far as applying your black, your color, and your negative space and or skin breaks which is where you'd leave the skin as its own value to uh, be a part of the composition. So this week we're gonna learn about swallows. Uh, but first we'll go over a little bit about what we had talked about two weeks ago about the traditional characteristics, which are those bold lines, the third ratio, which is super, super important. Uh, that's the, like I discussed, the black, the color, skin breaks and elements at the same time. So if you have, let's say, a little bit more advanced in your career, you'll start doing sleeves and stuff like that, or even bigger pieces. It's very important that you keep to that thirds rule so that your compositions don't get overcrowded. Uh, so it's very important, especially in your earlier days, to pick you know three elements to really work with if you're going for a, a bigger piece. Uh, no distinct light source. So everything kind of just is a gradient either from the insides out or the outsides in. Uh, simple drop shadowing. So swallows, barn swallows, there's 75 different species of swallows. They range from South America to Africa and even some parts of North America. Uh, they travel around 200 miles per day, which is why a lot of the times they are ta were tattooed in the sailor's days, because not only uh, were they seen a lot amongst near land when they start approaching near land, uh, they would also travel a whole ton like every other bird you know but with swallows specifically they mate only with one bird so they would travel lengths and lengths to a certain destination to go mate with that one other bird um <clears throat> so you know sailors definitely took a liking to that swallow characteristics uh they're blue burnt orange and white and typically the barn swallows are what we're focusing on that's what really the American traditional was based off of was those barn swallows. There are lots of other different swallows that have like red and black and yellow and all those cool colors. But for today, let's focus really on a more simplistic coloring, which would be the blue, burnt orange, and white. But for American traditional ways, uh, especially in Sailor Jerry, he really liked those barn swallow flash sheets. He would use red, white, and blue. Um, to be for you know England, France, and the U.S. to really signify that they have a streamlined body, long pointed tail. Males have a longer tail towards the ends, and eyes are large, 
compared to the body. So as you can probably tell from this little guy here, you know, the swallows are quite tiny birds, but their eyes are very much, are much larger than that of uh, other birds that are similar size due to the fact for hunting and all that fun stuff. Um, so I think that that's a very interesting characteristic, especially with the size of the beak that they have as well. The feet that they have, so they have like very short stubbed feet that are only meant for perching. They don't really grab onto prey or anything like that. They really just eat berries and, you know, veggies and stuff like that. So you don't really have to worry about him, you know, them coming down and snatching a mouse or something like that. So a lot of the times their feet won't even be drawn. And as you can see in this picture here on the right hand side, that they don't have, you know, their feet, their feet are all tucked in. So that's why you don't really see them in the flash sheets, which honestly is better. Who wants to draw bird feet and tattoo them? They're very annoying sometimes. <laughs> uh, traditional swallows, sailor tattooing, sailors sought swallows to navigate. So like I said before, sailors use swallows as a form of showing how far they've traveled. And when before technology and before GPS and Google Maps and all that fun stuff, in, in order to, you know, believe that they were close to land, they would start to see swallows near the shore. And that's how they would see, uh, think to themselves, you know, hey, we're close to shore. We're definitely nearby. Sailor swallow meetings, meanings. Sorry, I'm a little skippy with my words today. <laughs> uh, swallows would have the meaning of safe return or rebirth. Uh, so like I said, for the third time here, swallows would indicate that they were close to land or they would get swallows per, uh, usually on their chests, like how you would see in this picture here that they have them on, angled in onto their chest. One swallow would equal 5,000 nautical miles traveled. Two swallows is 10,000 miles nautical traveled. And that means that you were traveled the entire circumference of the earth. Uh, and uh, another common place to get a swallow would be the back of the hands. And that would mean that you traveled around Cape Horn in Africa. That would signify that. And a lot of the times you would have swallows that would have daggers through them. Uh, you'd see a lot of flash sheets like that. And that would signify that the swallow carried a sailor's soul from ocean to heaven. Uh, so they have a lot of pieces like that as well. <clears throat> and of course, like... This is a very simple process. I had done this with the roses. So first we start with stage one, um, thumbnail sketch outline, uh, keeping that streamlined body, almost a very egg cylinder shape. The wings very triangular. They could be different styled as far as <clears throat> being very pointed upwards, like the left swallow on the bottom. That's very, very traditional with the very Fibonacci eye. Um, you can also do a very Sailor Jerry style at the top right. And that was the most common view of the swallows would have their wings spread outwards, takes up a good span of your area that you're having tattooed. And my favorite um, positioning of birds would be the bottom. I like the way that they are with just their wings up like that, but still having that streamlined body. And of course you have to have those longer tails. And then we have stage two here, same thing with the um, roses. And side note here, this is only for if you were using like Procreate or any sort of digital tool. If you were doing a watercolor flashy or ink flashy, you'd be going in a very different route. So this is specifically for uh, digital art. We apply our color, remembering our rules of thirds, uh, really trying to keep in mind that there's a third of black, a third of color, and a third of negative space, really honing into that red, white, and blue. <clears throat> and of course, like always, I always have my references clumped like that. And this is the full process here from start to finish. <laughs> Hmm. 
really trying to hone in on those thick outlines. And an important thing too, that if you don't think you have enough black, definitely apply more, especially if you're working in the American traditional style. All right. So lastly, um, these are quick slides today. But lastly, what I really want to hone in on this and what I've noticed with doing swallows is that they follow the golden ratio in the Fibonacci sequence as far as placing them, especially that top left one. Um, <clears throat> if you are new to my classes and you haven't been really following along, I do have an entire episode on the Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio, and how to use it appropriately and how to see it appropriately. Um, I highly suggest that you go back and watch that. It's very vital and very fundamental to the way the artist views things. So I think it's very important and doing studying that and then doing swallows, you'll really under, try to understand how that is affected and how that works in compositional ways. So I think that's very, very, very important. So as you can see here on the right-hand side, that's a quick example of if you were to continue the Fibonacci sequence it is a mathematical equation that equals out to perfect proportions. Uh, you see it in nature with the, in the innards of sunflowers, with the insides of rosebuds, our faces follow the Fibonacci sequence and all of that fun stuff. So feel free and definitely I recommend everybody, if you're picked up a pencil today to stop what you're doing and check out those earlier videos. So that way you can really understand and, and get yourself out there. And my cat's in the way. Hold on one second. Charlie. All right. So that's, you know, it's very short slides what I had today, but what I really wanted to focus on is really drawing them together. So that's what we're going to do. So whenever Kyle's ready, um, we can uh, start letting people on. Am I still sharing? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, don't mind my cat. He likes to be an attention hoe right now. And if you're going to be up, you have to sit. So, uh, definitely. Oh, hey. What's up? Hey, bud. Are we live? Yeah, we are live. What's up, guys? Hey, Charlie, you got it. This is. What's up, this Charlie? Is How's it going, man? Good about yourself. Not too bad. Not too bad. Everybody's well, you're wearing the plaid it. today for American Traditional Day, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, awesome. Well, today we're going to focus mainly on drawing swallows. Uh, they're super common and traditional. And at this point after you, everybody should be able, if you've been following along, should be able to draw full flash sheets of roses and swallows and continue the learning process of that. And then eventually what you can do is really hone in on flash sheets because, you know, when, during the beginning of my apprenticeship, I really focused on like simple flash sheets like that. And not only does it exercise your brain on making different compositions, it keeps you small. And keeping small right now is very important in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna focus on that. So let's jump in here. Let me make another slide of stuff. And I can screen share that. And I apologize for my cat acting a ruckus. He doesn't have any cat friends right now, so he's making a mess all the time. They're like children, I swear to God. <laughs> Let me get myself set up here. I'm just throwing on a once again, a reference. And I can share my screen again. Uh, 
and feel free to hop on everybody to what we're doing. Very simple, very exercise filled. So obviously when we're in here, all I'm looking at, all I'm looking at literally is shapes of the swallows, what directions they're pointing in, what directions their wings are facing. And as you can see, the most common swallowed shape is the wings out. So I see a lot of that. You can see the back of the hand one here to signify traveling around Cape Horn. And all right, so I'm just taking a gaze at different shapes here. And all right, so that we're gonna focus only on three today. So we're gonna start off with just thumbnail stuff. Meaning that, you know, I, this is supposed to be messy on purpose. And really just getting the image out there. So we can have one little dude here. That's super long tails. And the first one might be the worst one because I'm not warmed up. And that's always like a common thing that I hear some people say that artists have to warm up. Yes, absolutely. It's like musicians, you know, they got to warm up before they're set and it's the same stuff here. Hey, Cardo, in your early days, did you draw a lot of American traditional? Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, I didn't do it because it was requested by me or anything like that, but I just did it because it, like, it was super foundational, you know what I mean? Um, and then I went through a phase of like a neo trend kind of thing, you know. So I was like always trying to study all the old, all the old uh, traditional stuff, so I could um, do it as well as I could. As far as like a neo traditional tattoo, like speeding it up a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm like it not so flat. And there was that whole new school movement where it was like really fun, fun to take the old images and make them all like super bubbly and cartoon and graffiti, kind of graffiti, quote unquote graffiti. -esque. So yes. I did. When did the new school thing start booming? Do you remember? Like 90s. Probably 90s. 90s, like later 90s. And then, um, you know, that was the whole time around with the, uh, whatchamacallit, tribal. Tribal was real popular around that time, too. Barbed wire and bands, such stuff like that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm the weirdo that kind of likes arm bands. <laughs> <laughs> you love arm bands? Yeah, I mean, I haven't done one yet, and uh, somebody in my shop does them really good, like super clean. But uh, I don't know, I kind of like them. You know, you're, ac you're accenting the body. I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a straight band around it, so it kind of obstructs it a little bit, but it's good to play with the design, though, for sure, right? Um, you know what I really like are the, uh, and a lot of people hate me for this, but those straight, thick black bands, you know what I mean? Just like yeah. Solid, solid. Those are awesome. I love those. I'm, actually, I'm sure there's some sort of meaning for it, too. Like, I don't know. Meaning, but I don't know. And my boss was talking about it yesterday on how he kind of, he says he kind of misses how tattoos had serious meaning like that of sailors. Like it would tell you a story just by looking at the person. And I yeah. was like, I, I didn't know that that was the thing. He's like, oh yeah, man. You would look at a person and just know exactly, exactly what they were doing. <laughs> like where they've been, what part of the world they were at. Yep, what they've seen, what they've done, all that stuff. Yep. I mean, it's the foundation of, Amer of American tattoo, I'm sure, right? So, 
make some sense, shiny boy. Yeah, and I told him, like, tattoos nowadays have meaning still, I think. Yeah. They're just more personal rather than universal. I won't be able to stay for very long today. I have a, a client coming in at 10 instead of 11. So, and he's driving from up north, just to let you know. So I apologize. No worries. I do we appreciate apologize. you popping on. Yeah, man. It's always fun. Get the, get the brain flowing in the morning, you know? Right. This is a good way to do it. Get ourselves some exercising. Mm-hmm. Exercise our brains. Mm. This house is clean. Have you, uh, and this is a, you know, just a question to start conversation. Have you tattooed a lot of swallows? Yes, a lot. <laughs> I love them. A lot of them. I love them, though. They're like, they're great. They're like, you, you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what else to say about them. Like, it's, they're just so foundational. It's fun. They're fun. They're like, it's a cool bird to tattoo. I, plus, I love tattooing birds. Like, I'm, it'll never get old to me. I love drawing them. All of it. I love birds. I love birds. Yeah, birds are awesome. Birds are so cool. If you don't have a bird, people, get a bird. This is your... Uh-huh. They but, will yeah. teach the patience so fast. <laughs> oh, big time. Big time, right? Yeah, no, it's 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 cool. Like, I've, I've tattooed a lot of the traditional stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot of different artists out there that have a bunch of different kind of, set, like, similar but different kind of uh, approaches to it, you know, like the way they draw their art and stuff, the way they draw their designs for their tattoos. But I've never, out of all the things that I've never done is um, I've never tattooed with the old, uh, the old stencils before. And I've heard that's pretty hard. What do you mean tattoo with the old stencils? Well, the ones where they etch into acetone, like acetate, like the acetate stencils. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? And like yes. you just put powder, uh, um, what is it, carbon on it, and like just go to town and stick that thing. So it's like a negative almost, you know? Never done it. I've heard it's hard. It looks hard because most of the stencil, like you can't really even like wipe, you know, like dab it, which is crazy. Because it'll come off? Yeah, it'll just, the whole thing will wipe off. No, like, if you breathe on it, if you, like, blow on it, it'll blow off. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Because it's just kind of, like, sitting up on top of the skin. It's too wild. That's super gnarly. Yeah, never done it before, though, but, but I'll try it someday. It's so crazy how much tattooing has industrialized over such a small period of time. Oh, yeah. Big time. We do have Faceted Ink Studio asking if you guys are going to be at Red Tree um, within the next week or two. I will not be. Likewise, yeah, I won't be able to attend that one. I, I'm, I'm wishing that I could, though. Yeah, I won't absolutely. Be able to attend that one. Yeah, I wish I could. Um, Uh, This year, I'm actually taking this year off from traveling. We did a lot of traveling last year. And this year, it's uh, this year, the focus is just self improvement in my art. That is the goal. So sorry, guys. Yeah. We should definitely still go, though, because Jason will be there. And there's going to be a lot of other awesome artists there, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Bob Tyrell going and Renee Little going and Jesse Smith going and everybody. I think Lauren's going. She asked me yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do three of these real quick and see what else we can do. Yeah. Yeah, before you go, we will have you show off your much radder swallows. Yeah, 
Potato, potato. Potato, potato. You're right. Um. A bird's a bird. Yeah. I hear that Red Tree is a pretty cool place too. Like I've heard that the environment's pretty just awesome there too. I actually have not heard much about uh, about said Red Tree, but I know it's right next to the True Tubes thing, and I think that's super cool. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Oh, you mean like where they make True Tubes? Yeah, I remember the first time I saw those things. I would like, I was. Besides myself, I'm like, wait, what? This disposable one has a metal tip. My God, this is just amazing. <laughs> what will they come up with next? You know what I mean? My yeah. good lord. Yeah, I no, like it's astounded by stuff too. It's like that. Like just yeah. like like the time that all you know, you know, Jason, yourself, and Bruno and I were all like gawking at these uh, what the cartridge companies. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just being a bunch of nerds. Yeah. Bunch of nerds over it. Gosh, these birds look hit right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we're supposed to get hit with this nasty storm. I woke up and found out that now we're supposed to get 12 to 18 inches in my area. Very excited. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> no, Gross. you don't like snow? Not about it? I mean, I like the snow, but I hate it afterwards. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's all the driving in it and stuff, dude. It's, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. You don't like the slush? It's not the slush so much, even. It's just like when it freezes, and you know what I mean? And it's been sitting there for a while, and it looks like like old like chocolate milk that hasn't been thrown away you know what i mean Ew. <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's what it looks like it looks like old chocolate milk hasn't been, that needs to get thrown out like you walk into somebody's room and you're like what are you doing with that experiment over there it looks like you're are you growing penicillin or something or what growing penicillin oh yeah that's you're, right you're telling me you don't drink that i know right exactly yes i do not sorry kyle uh, i see <laughs> exactly he's like removed from friendless <laughs> yeah i thought you were cool ricardo but you're really not oh, it's just the first strike don't worry you've got another chance <laughs> all right cool very cool i will take it yeah but well, yeah i'm not too big a fan not too big a fan of the snow there here I actually, uh, I had asked my shop yesterday uh, about how long you wait for leftovers before you throw them out. Like, how long is a good leftover? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, everybody said, like, a couple days. And I was like, oh. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, I don't want to say. <laughs> Like two hours or, or three no. days, a no, month. No, uh, no, not a not a month. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not a month. Uh, definitely like I've eaten leftovers that were like a week and a half old for sure. <laughs> That's not that big of a deal. That's not that bad. That's not too bad. I like mean, it depends simple. on what the food is. Exactly. Yeah, like if like you're I food prepping and stuff, dude, you better you better eat that shit. <laughs> yeah that's usually what it is like i'll food prep and and it's usually like a week and a half and i'm like oh yeah i'm done it's it's done it's starting to smell yeah. a little funky it tastes like refrigerator not chicken anymore yeah exactly and that's you usually know, what that's i eat about. yeah 95 percent of my diet is just chicken rice and veggies so <laughs> there you go it's the golden diet it's a good one it's a good one it's simple and it's exactly. exactly. Even though for breakfast I had like mostly carbs, so it's like uh, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, you know. Well, it's better than nothing. Um, clean these up real quick. 
Are you almost done with your swallows right now? I think so. Oh, you know, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lanta. Um, let's see about this one. Here. I'm gonna, I can't wait to see all the video footage from the red tree though. That's gonna be super fun. Seems like everybody's gonna have a good time. Yes, sir. Wait, Kyle, are you going? No, I'm still out of money from the last one. <laughs> yeah, my phone's a struggle, right? It's like you go into the bank and you ask them for a loan, and you're like, for what? Like, so I can travel to tattoo conventions. What? What else? It's obviously a business expense. Like, you don't want you don't want something for your home, a home loan, retirement or nothing. Like, nope, just tattoo conventions, please, and thank you. If only, right? If only. All right, I'm gonna try and outline these horrid swallows. <laughs> you ever have days and moments where you're drawing and you're just like, guys, like, like I can't, I don't know what's going on today. I can't draw. Like, <laughs> like, All the time. You, you mean line. every day? Yeah. I don't know what's going on right now. I know I can do way better than this. Like, Come on, Kia. Right? Well, if I woke up on the wrong side of the bed or what? Maybe the weather's getting to me. It's that snowstorm coming in. Right? Just let me know. Hey, we're coming for you. <laughs> Things are about to happen. They're not going to be good. Might get a snow day in. Who knows? The cool thing about American traditional is that it really is like it's so simplistically shaped. Like, really, it takes, like, the fewer lines, the better, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it, sometimes it can be so simple, it's hard to do. I think that's part of the problem, you know what I mean? Yeah, which is why it really exercises your brain to focus on the simplicity of it. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, there we go. Much better now. I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> I was getting too worked up in my fun my thumbnail stage. What are you tattooing today, bud? I'm gonna be working on this kid's arm. We've uh we haven't gotten back we haven't been back in it for a few years now. Um but it's a really fun one. Like it's a bunch of, uh, speaking of traditional images, like we've kind of sped up a couple, like a love by neighbor one on them. You know what I mean? The one with the brass knuckles and everything like that. Uh, we played with the lettering and stuff. We changed the lettering up a little bit. Um, and it's on his, I think it's on his right arm. So it's like a, at this point, I think it's a half sleeve and we're going to be taking it down into a full sleeve. I believe that might be what we're doing today. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Sounds like you're going to have a fun day. It is going to be a fun day. Pretty excited about it. 
it's always nice when the company is good too like when they bring good company like just good conversations and yeah me why we do this yeah you know what the funniest part is too is that like i've been tattooing for a few years and uh it was after he turned 18 and i had actually been tattooing his father for a little while before i started tattooing him so i met him when he was like 16 or 15 and now he's like i'm like sleeping his whole arm it's pretty funny it's ironic you know what i mean it's just wild when you sit back and think about it wow i first met you you were a little dude yeah uh my mentor or my mentor my boss actually tattooed some a kid yesterday and he tattooed his parents when he was first starting out and now he's tattooing their 18 year old 19 year old kid and he's like it's yeah, weird it's so, <laughs> so crazy yeah so it's such a it's such a, like a just a little bit of a i don't know like a surreal kind of moment you know what i mean does it make you feel old no not really i don't feel old really they're only every once in a while i'm like oh why is it so hard to wake up today man oh it's because it's freezing outside and i'd rather be inside that's why that's just hibernation that's different <laughs> yeah All right. I mean, honestly, too, like doing swallows, it's and and like American traditional stuff. Like you can get a whole flash sheet done so fast. <laughs> if it's nowadays, better. nowadays, not so much when you had to do it by hand. Blue and red. Yellow. Black. Look at us go, guys. We're really... <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the damn thing. I'm actually gonna make these red. Oops. And I appreciate artists like you know Mike Chambers and Jimmy Snaz for keeping to those traditional roots. I think it's super cool. It's developed into its own little style. And it must have been so cool to be a sailor, like traveling around and getting tattoos all over the place. Yeah, I bet. Like just going in the port and doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I think today I'm going to get a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. You, you do that, bud. <laughs> so right now I'm just adding in my black, kind of labeling where they should go. Once again, not really having a distinct light source here. Kind of just starting from one end to another. Seeing what it looks like.
and amping the black up and doing it a little harsher. Remembering our rules of thirds. Whoops. And these rules of thirds really apply to a lot of different styles of tattooing, be it Japanese too. Something like that. Let me bring up my reference to see anywhere else I can apply that back. Because I do feel like it needs more. Just a small amount. There we go, much better. Just chunky little birds is what we're making here. Fat, chunky little birds. Oops. And then even at times like this, I'll go, if I'm using Procreate specifically, I'll go into, once I'm done kind of cleaning it up here, go into my Gaussian blur that's in the little magic wand thing, kind of soften, soften everything up and clean the edges because it will make it go outside the lines here. And then I can come in with black again and really apply it in the crypts of the corners here. Like that. Let me come over with our white. Apply them to the tips of the wings usually. And that would signify where our skin breaks would be. Remember our rules of thirds again. Like that.
And then once I'm done with this, we are going to go back into that Gaussian blur and soften it up. Should be well. Do that now. Just to give it like some sort of softness. And you go back in with that white. And we're about to be done here. These are just like the last little finite things we're doing here. And then we apply some more red in the middles. Get some good blend going. And we got ourselves some swallows. Some ready to go tattooable swallows. Post these up on the gram or shop's website and say, come get them. Come get these traditional swallows. Of course, once you clean up the edges and everything like that, you don't want your flash sheets to be messy. And that's not good. And then we can show if anybody else had done theirs. Yeah, I got mine. Oh, you're back. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. let's do that. So since you're on your way out here. Yeah, I'm just going to show mine real quick. I didn't color them or anything like that, but uh, you get the idea. One second, shoot. Okay, here we go. Uh, can you see him? Yes. Let me uh, see. Out of the way of the light. Carl, you want to spotlight him for me? Perfect. Yeah, there you go. So cute. Very traditional. Yeah. I like that. Flat. Super flat. Yeah. That was probably my favorite. Second, third. I like the third one. <laughs> so it looks like he's dancing. Yeah. Yes. And he's like, and I like hi. The, I like the eyes on the second one. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining on and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to let us all know where we can find you and about your class on Tuesdays? Yeah, uh, my name is Ricardo Sturdivant. You can find me on Instagram at uh, Candor Tattoo. That's C A N D O R Tattoo. Um, I'm on Tuesday mornings on the Reinventing the Tattoo app um, under Tuesday Fields at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, come in and hang out, and we'll draw and talk and paint and all that good stuff. So yeah, thanks for having me, Kier. Thanks for having me, Kyle. Appreciate yeah, you guys. Yeah. Good luck on your tattoo today. Thank you. I'll post some pictures. I'll send them to you guys. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ricardo. See you later. Have a good day. Have a good day. You too, man. So while we have a couple minutes left, we'll go over again. Uh, clean this up just like a tad. Just a tad because, you know, it's a little messy because I did this quick. And um, 
then I'll play the playback. And then we'll do our little sign off thing here. Sorry if you hear my cat in the background. He really is making a ruckus. He's just bored. Nothing wrong with him. Okay. All right, there's that. There is said swallows. Very colored and traditional. And if we go back here, do the time-lapse replay. And you can see me struggling hardcore. <laughs> Took me a second there and Very similar steps to what I was doing for the roses. Very, 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 very similar. And I'll even back out and go back into those roses so you can see pretty much the same exact steps that were being taken. And that's what this is all about. This is all about a uh, process here. And um, it all starts at the same place with thumbnails and sketches and then it goes into those hard bold outlines then goes into the flat color and then goes into our drop shadowing and then our skin breaks and then repeat and that's how flash sheets are done on procreate oh, american traditional style Roses, in my opinion, are a lot more simplistic to do because they only have one direction of where that drop shadow would go, which would be innards to out. And these were all demonstrated during my class two weeks ago, just for those of you who haven't seen yet. And the roses I did before were very neo-traditional leaves, so I kept to the American traditional leaves on this one, which are very triangular shaped, diamond shaped, I should say. I went a little heavier on the black at this round, but you can still see that it still works. Of course, I have to add that teal. This is me demonstrating them. And yeah, all right. So that will conclude our steps here in our class today. I hope everybody learned a little something. Um, 
and there we go. Yeah, I hope everybody learned a little something today. I hope everybody took away something. I know this class was a little shorter than what it usually is, but you know, when it comes to these American traditional steps, the process really is fairly similar each round. It's just learning each subject, I guess. Um, so whatever you do in traditional, it's pretty much a step-by-step -step process on step one, step two, step three. And I think it's important for anybody in the beginning stages of their career and to um, really understand a process and fundamentally understand that process of step one, two, three, finished um, before you start delving into the crazy technical sides of things. And uh, with that said, uh, thank you so much, Kyle, for helping out. Uh, do we have any comments before I do my sign off? Um, no, no new ones, no. All right. Well, that just tells me that y'all learned. So <laughs> um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Uh, stay safe out there with everything going on. Everybody that's going to get hit with this nor'easter coming this weekend. Everybody, please be careful. Stay inside. Don't call your clients. Don't tattoo if you don't have to. Um, if you are curious on how to get a hold of me, if you want to tell me how good or bad of a job I'm doing, or just give me a follow, you can follow me on Instagram at Frankie says things. And um, yeah. Uh, welcome to the Thursday morning fundamentals. And you guys have been absolutely amazing. I have done nothing but learn and learn and learn for you guys and, and be able to say what I can. Um, and it's been an absolutely amazing experience thus far. Thank you so much to Reinventing the Tattoo, Guy, Gabe, Lauren, Sandy, Kyle. You know, you guys are absolutely amazing and have helped me so much and giving me this great opportunity to come out and be able to say what I want to say and teach what I want to teach. And um you know, no matter what, you guys are always in my heart. And uh, uh, it's been an amazing experience. Thank you so much to the horsemen for guiding me to making the better decisions for myself and make me feel like I'm not going crazy all the time. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. Everybody that I've met through reinventing has been absolutely amazing. Um, hands down from Renee Little to Jesse Smith to Amy Nichols to um guy Jason, to gabe to lauren to sandy like i've met all of you guys through reinventing the tattoo and the people that listen every day caroline evans shout out um atomic injections shout out um neil foster shout out everybody you guys are absolutely continuing to make me feel like coming on here and, and doing this is a benefit not only for myself but for you and um, nothing but uh, amazing words and, and shout out to Melissa Sink as well. And everybody that's hopped on and Nick Mitchell and, you know, it's and the list could go on. And I'm nothing but grateful for having that list be as long as it is. And I hope that everybody continues to just pursue themselves and get better at what they want to do and challenge yourself and all that fun stuff. Um, but that's the end of my spiel. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.